Should we recover? I mentioned that this is still going on with Cody. Well, there's something else still going on. The rivalry between the varsity blondes. Boy, there's a... I'll tell you what. I don't... They're, they're two p***y magnets with that name. The varsity blondes. Griff Garrison and poor old Brian Pillman. And Malachi Black and Brody King. And everybody's, oh, Cornell, why don't you like Brody King? He's a big guy. He's a blah, blah, blah. You like... Well... <laughs> If he had been brought in in a manner that you understood what the fuck was going on and gave somebody a reason to care about him, we might. But since he's – they Malachi Black started out as a top guy kicking the shit out of Cody and the main event guys, and now he and his new tag team partner are in a program with poor old Griff Garrison that I'm sorry, just pippy fucking long stocking. Just please. Pillman had a chance and they've buried him and made him look like an idiot. And now this is still going on. And in this match, they beat up Griff Garrison for less than a minute. And then he dove over for a hot tag to Pillman, which he missed. He missed tagging his partner. He dove and missed it. And you saw Pillman as Griff had crumpled to the mat. Pillman's hand is still out like shit. You, you missed it. Oh, well, fuck it. And then he got the tag and didn't make a comeback. He went to do a springboard, but acted badly scared to do a springboard once and then twice, and then jumped down on the floor and made a boo-boo face. Cause remember the last time he tried to do it, he, he slipped. I want to say something. I checked on that actually, after we talked about it, cause you were pretty insistent that it was a planned spot. It wasn't, he really did trip. They just recovered perfectly during that match. Well, and I, he took a great bump on it. I thought as perfect as that was, that had to be because I figured, well, okay, they've given him a little out in the finish. I didn't realize they weren't going to give him an out. They were just going to have him eat the kick and be done with it. So now they've they've taken a, a real baby mistake that the baby face used, and now they're making him re make everybody remember that he fucked up as a work. I, I, I and then his partner is on the floor arguing with him as he's gotten to it killed the match it killed him now the baby faces are arguing and one of the heels came and ran from behind and fucking pillman ducked out of the way and he wiped out griff garrison or i think maybe bell griff pillman shoved griff somewhere or another griff shoved pillman and griff got wiped out so Pillman can't even protect his fucking partner, and he was the cause of all of this. And then they double-teamed Pillman over and over right in front of the referee and beat him one, two, three. Horrible match layout, horrible finish, buried the baby faces, didn't help the heels because it was rotten, and nobody cares about these baby faces because they've, they've beaten both of them into powder, and Pillman had the opportunity to get over, but that time has passed because they bungled it. So, and then they played a video of PAC. Does PAC get paid whatever PAC gets paid just to fucking send these videos in every few months? Probably. He was, he was talking about Malachi Black and they did more spooky shit. These guys watch too many movies. And if PAC is going to be in England and I know there's COVID and there's travel problems, Tell him, good, good, stay there and come back in a couple years or come over here because we're paying you and wrestle on our show. Do one or the other. He's not good enough that they need to cater to this guy. I mean, we, we've said he looks great. He's got a great physique. He's short, but his but the rest of his body doesn't make him look like that. And he looks like a badass, but his matches are hit and miss, and every time he goes to the top rope and stands there for 15 seconds before he comes off, it's just cringeworthy. And they're acting like that he's the second coming of Stone Cold Steve Austin. If he's going to be around, use him. If he can't be around, then get somebody else. Pac is going to make no difference in this business. Not one iota, one degree or another, positive or negative. He's got on a card. What the fuck? It's like they're trying to... It's almost like Tony has 
said, well, shit, I wanted to do something with him at the start, so I'll just draw this out until I ever can. And people have seen him enough now, they know they've seen what there is to see, and ain't much there. So, 